Hello everybody, Baconator here, and welcome back to another Smite Tactics video. Today I'll be playing my um, Zeus deck, so before we get into the game, let's take a look at the deck. So first off, this is more of a controlly type Zeus deck. Again, I like to play the control decks more than the aggro decks because they're just more fun for me. So let's take a look at this. First off, we have Sunder. Well, Zeus is probably the most powerful um, Pantheon right now, at least to most people who think so. I have Sunder in it because the one thing Zeus is lacking is hard removal. Sunder solves that by dealing 2 damage to an enemy god or minion, giving Zeus some ways to kill stuff that they can normally not kill. Next we have Basilisk, the same reason we have Basilisk in all of our other decks is because he is just a good 2 drop that you really want in your deck right now, so Basilisk. Next we have a Marksman, 2 mana 1, 2, fills the 2 drop quite nicely, it's ranged. And because we have so many gods in this deck and spells that give us gods, the divinity normally works out for us a lot. Next we have Brute, two Brutes. Um, Brute is just very good because of that taunt effect. You want as many taunters as possible in your deck, so that's why we have Brute. Next we have Elder Harpy, probably the only card I don't really want in this deck that I do have in this deck right now. The main reason I have it currently is because I don't currently have a Medusa, so I have to use Elder Harpy instead because it's probably... It's from my opinion, the be next best card to have. Stats are alright, it still will work in this deck, but I'd rather have a Medusa currently. Now we have two Thanatoses. Thanatos is just a strong 3-drop. has a very good effect that can be used early to take control or late to remove a big threat. It's a very good card to have. Aphrodite, 4-mana slot card. has a very nice ability, is ranged also, so it has that going for it. And that reduced by one, that damage reduction is just extremely solid to have. Next we have Beacon of Hope, one of the few spells we have in this deck next to Sunder. Beacon of Hope just gives me more gods, it can also pull the same god twice, which is very nice. And it's just a very strong card. You can get a 6 mana card for 4 mana, which if you do that then you're probably going to win the game because that's a lot of tempo. Then we have Hades, the only 5 slot next to Spartan, which I don't like in the Greek Pantheon, so Hades is something that I love to have in the deck. has a pretty good effect, especially against melees. Is ranged, or it has that going for you, and high health. Then we have Athena, one mana more than Hades with the same stats, but that taunt ability makes up for all of that. Also, with that teleport, makes it even better. So, Athena. And finally, we have a Fury filling out our late game. I'd rather have a Fire Giant in this slot than a Fury currently, because the Fire Giant's a better late game card, but since I don't have a Fire Giant right now, Fury will have to do for my late game. So that is my Greek deck, and let's go find us a game. Hopefully it won't take that long. Well, it looks like it's not going to be as instant as it was in our first video, so... Let me talk about the Greek Pantheon for a second. So for one... It has been nerfed a lot. The Greek Pantheon has been nerfed a lot, but that still hasn't stopped it from being very good. The, a lot of the cards that you see in my deck now were actually nerfed recently, and as and since I didn't remove them, obviously, the nerfs, they, while they were still good nerfs, they definitely made the deck worse, and it allows other decks to actually have a chance. I'm going to reset this queue. Um, the nerfs still just aren't, like, big, significant enough to make Greek a very bad, like make it bad. Like when Raw got nerfed, it got removed its um, best card in Emperor's Power because, well, it was just OP for a ranged character and they gave it to um, Gunganir's Might for the Norse Pantheon. That card was um, very powerful on Raw and it made it impossible again. to beat a Raw. These immortals must be shown the so we have found our game, we're on the Norse. Um, the Norse Battlefield against Flunder X, so let's get started. So Basilisk, we're definitely going to keep a nice 2-drop, you can play right away. Aphrodite is a good card to have, so we'll keep that. Athena is too late game, so we'll remove that. And we draw another Basilisk, which is nice. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to move up and try to steal this middle spot right here. Basilisk will take some damage, and what the hell just happened? We have a Hades now, apparently. It said a Basilisk, but I guess now it's a Hades, so that kind of sucks because I thought we were going to have two plays in a row, but now we don't. Oh well. So it does hit our Basilisk from afar, we were expecting that. Real, ma real main thing about moving him where he was is just so he can't attack. But he does use stun on it, which that's fine for me. This draw pisses me off. 
Because now we actually have to do nothing this turn. Draw Sunder, whatever. We actually have to skip our turn because of bad draws, which is very unfortunate. We have a really strong late game now, but unfortunately we lost a lot of tempo there. And he can just maybe take a board swing here or something. He plays like a bass set here. That's going to be, and he plays it in the correct spot. Then it's going to be very hard to win this game. Magnus Slam, however, is perfectly fine by me. I mean, you're a beacon of hope. I was hoping for something like that. So we'll steal this middle ground and we'll use beacon. What do we get? The souls here. We got a Thanatos. Our luck is fucking terrible right now. RNG is not suiting us right now at all. It's the worst one we could have drew right there. Even if, even though we wouldn't be able to play these cards because of that, it's still just terrible to draw right there. Time to limber up. That is fine. We can sunder that down and remove it for free with our Thanatos. So that's good. This is at least this time Thanatos did work out because he wasn't able to remove it completely. So now, and then he also plays something that is vulnerable to die, and we're gonna kill him. Also, right now we are gonna trap him in. We're gonna lock him in. Who will be my love today? So what I did there is basically now he has no way of moving. He has a rock up here, and then we're blocking every other slot available to him. So now we can only play gods on the corners or characters on the corners and he has no way of moving away from us so we can't escape our melee guys right now because he's locked in this is where positioning is key so we did execute our Aphrodite which was fine by me because we have much bigger threats that he didn't want to execute anyway he will be able to kill our Thanatos for free as well so that's pretty bad for us but we still you just use an execute now and we can play as Athena and then he'll be taunted up and then he's going to be really scared and that is what we're going to do here so we're gonna plop down and, shall and, be my shield. and now he's taunted, can't move. Hopefully he doesn't have a second execute, that would kinda suck. But then he wouldn't be able to play anything and then I will still have some big threat. Alright, so that play sucked, so we're gonna win this game I think now. So you guys probably don't see the play that I see right now, but you'll see what I do after he gives me the turn back. I'll explain it a little bit. I'm going to move my Zeus out of the way. Oh, are you sundered that? That's fine. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to move my Zeus out of the way so then I can use my Athena Teleport to play, plop her right there. What that'll do is that'll do one damage to all these characters, killing that one and putting that one in range for my Thanatos to kill. Awesome. So that's what we're going to do. So watch this. Move him out of the way. Use Athena. Teleport ability. One damage to all of them. Killing that one. Doing some damage here. Now he's at 2 health, so that leaves Thanatos prone, easily killing him. First off, we'll play our Mergsman to get him some value. Then we'll plop down our Thanatos. Kill you. And because this game is already over, as long as we don't make mistakes, we're going to draw a card instead, just so we have that card advantage over him, so we can't come back. So now he's taunted, we have more cards than him, and we have the board. He does play a Fury, which is a very nice one to have right now, but it's going to be too little too late. This game is ours. That's what we can do here, is we just Sunder that, kill it with the Marksman, play a Fury of our own, and then we have six damage coming his way. He has no way of winning this game anymore. So, Sunder. Do you right here. Play our Fury. Boom. He'll probably surrender right now. Deal damage. You can't move away right now, so even if he's. You can't kill this either because of the taunt, so. Yeah. There's an Elder Harpy, that's not gonna be enough. You have him dead next turn, you should be surrendering now, or just letting me kill him off. One way or the other, he's done. good game that is where positioning matters that is a good way of showing why positioning matters so much is because I completely locked him into this area so he wasn't able to escape 
and then once I put the taunt right there, it was over. He surrenders before I can kill him while I was explaining. That's fine. We get the win, another victory for our Zeus deck. So that is where that is why you see how Zeus controls the game. I use my taunt. Well, first off, before I had a taunt, I used my characters just to lock him into a space so he couldn't move away that far. And then once I was able to play my taunt in the Athena, that locks him in for good, so then he was just stuck forever in the rest of the game. He never had enough movement, so then all of my melee characters, because he couldn't move, they were all able to get into range of him, and then eventually just slowly kill him off. And we got the victory. So I thank you everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.